All right, so this one's gonna be a pretty quick video that requires some knowledge about side loading apps because I'm gonna show you how to side load a Google Play Store that is native BlackBerry 10 app that's called Snap. This one is known to many BlackBerry 10 users that this was the only alternative back in the day to be able to use the Google Play Store on your BlackBerry. And the only reason I'm talking about it now is because version three finally became available. But in order to use Snap on BlackBerry 10, you have to sideload it. And to sideload it, there are some tools that you're gonna need. And if you haven't done sideloading before, it can be a little complicated and a little intimidating. So you're gonna need a tool, something like Sachki, which I'll leave a link to the description below on how to be able to get to this application that you're gonna need for your computer. But before I get into that, let's get the app itself from the Red Light of Love. That's the developer. So I'm going to leave a link to this website below. And here you have multiple tiers on how to obtain the app. I'm going to go with the ad supported one because it's going to be a tryout. If you like it, you can donate to the developer. So you're going to go through the motions like you're paying for something, like the whole billing information, but you're not paying anything. So then once it's done, you'll have access to the application which you can then download onto your computer. Now, having connected my BlackBerry to my computer, you're going to go to your settings, to securities and protection, and then go to development mode. When you get to development mode, you're going to enable it. After you enable it, you're going to be required to enter a device password. I'm just going to keep mine simple and just use all zeros because I'm just going to demonstrate how to be able to get this device to sideload the Snap Store. So I'm going to use the Google Chrome extension to sideload this application and it's going to look like this and one google is going to give you a warning just go ahead and skip it the app is okay you can use it there's no malware in it the ip address that was displayed on development mode after you enabled it enter that ip address into the spot right there on the extension as you can see so then once you do that i have my bar file that i downloaded from the developer that i purchased for the snap store and i just drag it over to the chrome browser and then it automatically starts uploading to the application which is the installer to install the bar file and after it uploads it's going to start doing all these checks and processes to then install it or sideload it onto my blackberry 10 device and once it's done i'm going to get the successful installation and then i'll be able to use the application on my blackberry 10 device And it looks like we're done. So now let's go to the BlackBerry 10 device. And here is the application. Now, it's going to ask you to log in with your Google account, which I already did. And once you do, you're going to have native access to the Google Play Store. The thing about the Google Play Store on this version of the Google Play Store for BlackBerry 10 is that there are no native Google Play services. So as you'll see, I'm gonna I'm gonna download Snapchat because I've been asked a lot about Snapchat. So after I downloaded it as an APK through the Play Store, then I go through the motions of installing it. It installs properly, but when you try logging in, you're gonna get an error code saying that you need Google Play services installed, and it's not installed and it's not patched through the Snap Store. But those apps that do not require Google Play services, like Google Maps, for example, can work just fine. So you can get APKs this way. It was one of the first ways to be able to, to obtain Android apps or Android APKs on your BlackBerry 10 device, also counting the Amazon App Store. Same concept, but in this one, it's a native access to your Google Play. The only problem is that it can be a little buggy, and I have noticed that there were some uh, wonky performances as I was trying to use some of the APKs here. I don't know if that has anything to do with being the BlackBerry Q10 on an older hardware or if that had something to do with the APK not installing properly. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, voice guided directions do work on this. I have used it before and it works properly. It's just that uh, some people find this a little cumbersome because w without Google Play services, you can't really use most of these apps that are available on the Google Play Store. So most people resort to Cobalt. But still, I'm doing my due diligence and showing you what options you have to be able to get Android APKs onto your phone safely, properly, 
and quickly. So please give a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. I'm focusing a lot more on software in season three, as you've probably all been noticing, and I got more software walkthroughs, applications and such that I'm gonna be covering, especially in my work smarter series that I'm developing now. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to stay in the know, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Andres for Newsreel signing out.